Hello, Brother Sewing and Crafting family. Brother Brand Ambassador Angela Wolf here. And so many of you have asked about this, and you're going to be really excited. Art Spira, Barbara's going to, Barb, Barb, uh, Barb, I'm sorry. I see you right down there. Barb and I have been going back and forth, so we're sorry we're a couple minutes late. But Barb's going to show you some ways to decorate your costume, jazz it up a little bit with Art Spira app. And we have Maxine that's joined us a few times, and I have Maxine ready to come and say hi to you when she decides to show back up. But for now, we'll take Maxine out and let's bring Barb up. Barb, I'm sorry, I called you Barbara, and I did not mean to do that. I think I was just frazzled. <laughs> uh, I get it. It's okay. Either way, I'll eat. <laughs> hi, everybody. <laughs> Everybody's saying hi to you. Hi, Barb. So, Barb, by the way, do am, are you going to be at Houston Quilt Fest? Yes, I, I thought so. So yesterday or last this week, we've been talking about this on the brother show. And this is going to be very exciting. A lot of presentations, all the brother product. I'm so excited. Yeah, and I can't wait. Uh, I can't wait to show everybody the new features and answer whatever questions and talk about our Spira, anything you want. Um, we're there to show you all the good stuff. <laughs> Hands on. And speaking of Art Spira. Uh, you have a really fun project. I was so excited when I said, Barb, what are you doing today? She said, Art Spira app. Has anybody done that? Oh, let me just tell you, the Brother Sewing and Crafty family is going to be so excited because they've asked. Some of them have downloaded. You have to download the app, but Barbara's going to show you. Barb's going to show you. I'll quit calling you Barbara. I'll quit adding to your name. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's, I really am Barbara, but I just go by Barb. I don't care. <laughs> All right. So uh, what do they need for this project? Because that costume behind you is adorable, too, by the way. Okay, so all they need is some inspiration and the Art Spira mm -hmm. app, which is free. And all you just go to your store where you buy your apps. It's good for iOS or Android, either one, and just pick the one you need and download it. And then I'm going to be walking through it a lot today with you so you can see how to use it. And it's super simple. I'm so excited. It's so simple and it's very exciting. So, all right, everyone, you can leave your comments. We are live streaming on Brother Sewing and Crafting YouTube and Facebook pages. So if you want to watch this episode later, share it to your page. If you're on YouTube, be sure to subscribe. You'll never miss an episode. And we'll let Barbara take it away. And I'll take a break with her in a little bit for some questions. Okay. So I'm going to start out by showing you the app and opening the app. So let me change my camera real quick here. Have to make sure not to get my arm in the way of the camera <laughs> <laughs> i'm not going to turn it i'm just gonna it should be all set to go there we go there you go i'm going to start out with uh this is you know just my tablet there's my art spira app that i've already downloaded okay so this is the opening page when you get here let's see if i can move just a little bit closer there we go so you get um, all of this stuff on your opening page and you can even search up here. If you've saved certain designs with a name, you can search for that and it can you know, bring that up. It comes up with designs, embroidery designs that you might like, like the new things that are like current to use. It has a whole category of embroidery designs, cutting designs and design templates. So let's just kind of walk through that so you can see. So here are embroidery designs and you have these options, but you also have all of these categories up here. So right now it's in seasons. Now I can go to animals. I can go to flowers and plants. I can go to food and drink. I can go to holidays. And I have used some of these on these costumes that I'm embellishing for you and I can go to letters and fonts. So let's go back to the home page and that's easy. There's a home symbol right here or you can go back like I did. Now let's see what the cutting designs are. Cutting designs, thank you. Same thing here, you've got categories. So I also use the uh, cat for today's what I'm gonna show you. You've got flowers and plants. Remember these are cutting designs food and drink, party occasions, holidays, shapes. And um, these are all categories, again, that you can go into and choose your things. So one of the questions you're going to ask is, what machines do I need to do this? Because this is set up to wirelessly transfer to your cutting machine or your embroidery machine. 
So you want to have for your scan and cut, you either want the SDX uh, 325 or the SDX 330D that has this wireless capability. And as far as sewing machines go, you want to have either an, an S series machine. So that's one of the mid lower range, the NQ series machines, the Stellar, the XPs, any of them, the PR 1055X or the PR 680W. Um, Those machines right now have these wireless connection abilities. So those are the machines you need. But in the meantime, if you don't have one of those, you can play with this app and start creating your designs and they'll be ready to go when you can transfer them wirelessly. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you a um, couple of other things here. Every week they come up with a new magazine. So whoops, I, didn't, I wanted to start at Halloween one, two, one. So. In the magazine, which is free to you, you get the first one is an introduction for what it is. And then you get um, projects. So this has a project for candle holders, Halloween lanterns, a Halloween garland, Halloween cushions, or a gift, gift bag things. And when you go into these projects, they give you every single step and detail you need. So this is your project. It tells you it takes about two hours. They're very generous for how long it takes because it did not take me as long as they said. Then they show you all the supplies you need, but they also list them all. So you know absolutely what you need. And then they literally walk through every single step. So step one in this particular project is tap the below cutting pattern and then send it to your cutting machine. So I'm going to go ahead and inside this blue box is actually your pattern. There is my pattern and I want to create with it. So here's my blue. You know, when you see something blue, that usually means you should do something with it. There is my cutting pattern. And down here, I have another blue bar. I'm going to say transfer. I already have my cutting machine hooked up with the same wireless network and also my sewing machine. And so I'm gonna say transfer and it automatically goes to my cutting machine that I have registered in here. And this will come up where it'll ask you every time when you're transferring a piece, you can only do one at a time and there will only be one in the waiting memory of the machine. So it wants to make sure you're okay by um, getting rid of whatever's there and I'm okay. So now it says that data is already transferred and done. So I'm going to come to my scan and cut and retrieve that pattern. So it's under retrieve data, but it's in the cloud now. So when you have the newest update, this icon has changed its look. It used to be a little different, but now it's the cloud with the pocket. So I will open that and I will find one design. And that's what I just did. There's the big H and some of the embellishments that are gonna go on the garland besides. And I can just say, okay, and do my normal thing in here where I would scan my mat, move my design so it fit and cut my design. That's how simple that is, okay? So I'm gonna come back here to my Art Spirit app <clears throat> and I'm gonna go home and show you that in the second week magazine, they had these different projects that you can do. And when I say they walk you through every step, I mean it. I'm going to actually do one with you so you can see. And then there's more um, projects. And this is the one I'm going to show you. It's a mask made out of cardstock or construction paper. So they're going to show you this says it takes an hour. It did not take me an hour, nowhere near an hour. So you've got two pieces to cut out and you can see how you can make the look totally different by putting one color behind a different color. So again, it lists the materials you need, shows you a picture of the materials you need, and then it's the introduction. This project is made by using two different colors of cardstock. Cut the two piece patterns, A and B, when you're showing this on the cutting machine. Now this is quite large, so you can only cut one at a time. 
and it tells you how to put your paper on your mat and how to scan your mat, load your mat and scan it in, how to find uh, your design under this cloud, which I already showed you. And I'm going to do this again. And then they're scanning the mat in so they can place this piece where it needs to be. So I need to go back and find this design. Remember, I told you it's in a box. It's in a blue box. So there's my design. This is what I want to create with. And I want it to transfer to my scan and cut. I'm going to don't show this again. <laughs> OK, it's already there. Let me go back, retrieve my data under my cloud. And now it will be a cat face. And again, I would scan my uh, paper in there to make sure it fits and cut it out. So here is what it looks like all cut out. Oh my gosh, Barb, that's so cute. Isn't that cute? Now, they show you putting the two layers flush with each other. I offset it just slightly because I wanted a little more action in the whiskers. Because <laughs> if you put it flush, then you only see three whiskers on the side. Oh, so I love that. You can do whatever you want. I mean, that's the bottom line. Okay, so questions so far? Well, I first of all, I love the options there where it gives you all the instructions. And, and there's quite a few people that said they love the little magazine that it's not really little, the magazine that comes because it gives them all the ideas, but you can follow along there. <laughs> and yes, there's a squirrel for the month. I got to see the squirrel <laughs> on there. <laughs> uh, there's been a few questions about if your machine will work. And I see that Brother uh, Social Team has posted on here for you. So there's a link that you can go to to learn about Art Spira. And no, you cannot take it. A lot of people are asking, can I put this on a USB stick and take it to the machine? No, nope. some, this is something totally new, totally new. Yep, but we haven't, we've only scratched the surface of what you can do with this, so. <laughs> Excellent, so those are most of, everybody's just excited about this and just checking on their machine. So click that link that brother gave you if you wanna check your machine. Okay, so whoop. Now, and that's the other thing, make sure you have the latest update on all your machines, your scan and cut and your sewing machines, because this is part of uh, the ability of all of this is part of that. OK, so now I'm going to show you my next project. I took a T-shirt that I bought at a big box store, discount store for five bucks, and it had the word bewitching on it. I thought, OK, I'm going to take this and change it, because the idea of this show is how to embellish your costumes and i don't dress up in costumes i'm usually making the costumes for somebody else or just accompanying the grandkids that kind of thing now so i just dress up t-shirts and things like that and i have a couple of cute ideas for so on this t-shirt i decided i wanted to add an animal with htv transfer vinyl so i went into the animals and i grabbed a cat because i think cats represent halloween and I love cats, I love dogs, but anyway. So I'm going to create with my cat and I'm going to go ahead. I want you to see that you can, with two fingers, make this bigger so you can work with it or see more details better. I'm good with this cat and I'm just gonna transfer it and it's already there. So remember how we got that? We went to retrieve data, we went under the cloud and now the cat is gonna show up instead of the cat mask. So there's my cat. Well, on my scan and cut, I can edit that cat and I will object edit that cat and I'm going to make it huge because why wouldn't I? <laughs> so I don't remember how big I made it, but there's a great big old cat and it's going to be heat transfer vinyl. So I also need to mirror image it if I want it to look like that. And then I would just bray my heat transfer vinyl onto my... Um, I can actually do one if you'd like onto my mat. And so let me turn this ever so slightly this way. There's my mat. And I'm going to put this on my low tech mat. I do lay it on because sometimes there's bubbles in there. And that doesn't play well. <laughs> So it's all braid on. And then I also use the Brother Transfer Tape just because 
I have cut things that the edge has peeled up. Not so much my heat transfer or my paper, but I'll just put a little piece on each of the four corners and that way it's not going anywhere. If you keep your mat nice and clean, you're in good shape. That's so, a good idea, Barb, that just grabbing some tape to keep that down. Yeah, just a little bit. All right, I need to move my <laughs> tablet here. And then I'm going to feed my mat in. And then I'm going to um, scan my mat and move the cat so that it fits. So I'm good with this. I'm good with that. And I'm going to scan my mat. Start. Make sure I'm clear behind it, which I am. I guess. Move out just a little bit. All right, so then it's going to show up here, and I can see I have plenty of room to cut this out. And I have my um, basic uh, blade in. You could use your vinyl or you could use this one. I'm going to say OK and select and cut it. And I am going to run a test. Don't have to. My half cut is already on. If my half cut wasn't on, I would go into the tools right here. So let's bring a test in. I don't want to find the cat. <laughs> and start. And now it's just going to test test cut a little piece. I want to make sure that it's not cutting my carrier sheet and back or anything like that. See how easy that was? All I did was choose the cat. All right, let's see where that cut. Uh, there. I'm just going to grab what it cut, and it's perfect, my little circle. And then I can just let it cut the uh, cat. Do we want to take the time to cut it, do you think? I think not. It's uh, totally up to you, but just a couple questions for you. What blade are you using on that? Anything okay, special for the vinyl? Blade. Just the black standard blade. Okay, great. Like I said, I could have used my vinyl, but I just happen to have this one in here. So you know what? If we have time, I'll cut it later. But I don't want to miss so many things I want to show you because there's so much more to do. So we're just going to go home here, and I'm going to cancel here and go home here. Um, and then talk about my next project. So here is the T-shirt that had the bewitching already on it that I bought for five bucks and there's the cat. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I know. So I did that and I, th and I could do more embellishment on here, but I thought, all right, what am I gonna put on the back? I mean, I'm doing this, what am I gonna do? So I <laughs> here to cutting designs and I went to holidays and I found this haunted house. Isn't that cute? So I'm going to create with the haunted house. I'm going to transfer it to my cutting machine. And OK, you already know how easy this is. Retrieve data under the cloud. And now it will be a house instead of um, the cat. And I did the same thing. I sized this guy until it was huge. And then I used a, a heat transfer a, a pumpkin color on the back. What do you think of that? <laughs> I love that. OK. So let's get to another project. This time, oh, I'm going to come back. So to go Barb, yes? Just real quick, while you're showing those, I'm, I'm watching some of the comments scrolling through. And everyone's amazed how quickly it goes from the app to the machine. And yes. someone else mentioned that bewitching. If you didn't have a t-shirt like that, you could use the rhinestone kit. Good, Correct. good eye for. <laughs> yes. And so to go with my bewitching t-shirt, I made another mask. Oh, look at that. So this goes with the cat and the black t-shirt and look how cool that is. Oh, what kind of, what, what did you use for that mask? Um, just a, a cardstock that this was a hologram cardstock literally and then the the black is just a glitter cardstock wow what a difference between that first mask and this one yeah 
right? I mean, they're both cool, but you can do so much with it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm with and you, Christy. I like the bling. Yeah. Okay. So next, let's talk about embroidery designs. Okay. That's funny. When I covered it up with my shirt, it decided to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Cancel home. All right. So let's look under embroidery designs because I need more than one t-shirt to get through Halloween week. We used to wear Halloween stuff at Houston, but it's not on Halloween this year. So, <laughs> um, and I went to holidays. So I found some really cute things. Look at this monster or this oh. pump, the ghost. How about the cat with the skeleton? I mean, they're adorable. Now these are embroidery designs. Remember that. So I did this guy <laughs> and <laughs> I know, again, I want to create. So in here, you can see information about this. So I open information, it lists all the colors. It lists the name, whoop, it's Frankenstein Halloween, the size, the how long it takes, and the stitch count. So you can get all of that information before you do anything. I'm all set with this. So I have my XP3 I'm hooked up to this and I'm gonna send it over there. So slowly moving the camera. Kind of an inch I'll just off. flip it up. So move as fast as you like. I'm, <laughs> I know everyone's like, that is so cute. It is cute. All right, she's back. So here we are and I am going to, um, I think I transferred it, didn't I transfer it? <laughs> okay, transfer and it's complete. So I come in here and I do the same thing. I go into embroidery. I go into my retrieving patterns in my pocket and it's under the same icon the pocket with the cloud and I will see one pattern. The good thing about this is when you send it to either your scan and cut or your sewing machine, you can save these in the memory of those machines. It does also say on every one of these though, they are not for commercial use. So personal use only. So I'm gonna grab my guy and he's pretty little. You not, not all of you have this ability, but many of the machines that do this out there do. So I'm gonna go to edit and I'm going to size this guy up. You can use him just like this though, he's adorable. I'm gonna change the stitch count, very, very important. And I'm just gonna go as big as he'll go. Uh, and that's 200% bigger on this machine. Wow. Move him up here and I'm gonna do a little bit of rotating cause I'm gonna create kind of a, collage look. Okay, I've got him. <clears throat> now I'm going to add to this. And I'm going to go back to my art Spira. And I'm going to grab another design, which was under embroidery designs, <clears throat> under holidays, and I want this pumpkin to go with him. So create, uh, I don't need my information, simply transfer, it says it's already there, let's go get it. See, I've saved these in the memory of my machine already. And here's this guy. All right, same thing. Oops, set. I'm gonna move him over a little bit. I'm gonna make him bigger just because I can. <laughs> and why wouldn't you? As big as he'll go, move him down, rotate him a little bit. And then I'm gonna add one more thing to this. Now I want, I'm moving these around because the red box needs to be within my hoop and I have my hoop on here. I was using the 10 by 10. So let's add one more thing back to Art Spira and I'm going to add the ghosts under embroidery designs, holidays, this ghost, create and transfer. That's it. Go to my machine, go to my pocket, grab my ghosts or ghost and set. So again, pretty, whoop, grab the wrong one. <laughs> there we go. Um, again, I'm gonna make him bigger. Why do I say that ghosts are hymns? <laughs> I don't know, I just don't think of ghosts as hers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so up here, and now I'm gonna do a little more fun. I'm gonna duplicate the ghost and I'm going to mirror image it. 
and have kind of a pair up here floating together. Then we're going to duplicate again, bring them down here, duplicate one more time, here, image this one, and maybe angle this guy a little bit more. Whatever. You can play all you want to, but here's the final results on just a black t shirt. Again, long sleeve t shirt to wear for Halloween. There are my ghosts. Oh my gosh, is that cute? I know. It's so cute. Now, I did change the color of his hair because it's on a black t shirt. So I'm going to go back here and show you real quick if I go to my. Um, <clears throat> palette his hair is black and I changed it to a bright orange because that would show up better on a black shirt that's about all I did oh and then I changed the colors of the words or the letters and I didn't bother to sew this because it's on a black t-shirt already I didn't need to okay all right let's go to the next thing done okay super super simple yes it is and super fun all right next I have there's this. more. <laughs> it's kind of like <laughs> one of those things. Oh. It's like there's more. Awesome. <laughs> down, girl. All right. So let me change my camera. I'm, it's just a click. So you don't have to. Pick. So I went and bought this costume um, again at a big box store for cheap, super, super, super cheap. And it was a ninja costume. Very, very ninja. It still looks a little ninja, but. I, it works for what I wanted to do. With that came all of this stuff, which I didn't want for a three-year-old, okay? I mean, they're plastic, but still. So I took all of those parts off of the costume. I just cut them off because I couldn't make this for what I bought it for. There were lots of different uh, pieces in there, but I cut them all off. And then I made a cape, just a cape. And I made it gold lined so that it would show the accents on the fr front the belt and all that kind of stuff and on the back i wanted it to be a hero cape so i made the shape of a superman's emblem because <laughs> his name is cyrus and he is a climber so he is the cyrus superhero climber <laughs> as a three-year-old so cute and so easy to do. So let's talk about that one. Uh, oh my gosh, Barb, that's so cute. <laughs> and it was just fun and easy. Okay, so I have to go back to Art Spira. We'll go back to home. And this is where you get to create from scratch. So down here, I have a home. I have new. I have um, my hit oh, one hit wrong camera. <laughs> all right click the camera again here we go there you so go perfect on the very bottom we have home new um my creations and settings so we're going to go into new and when you go into new you get this drawing tools so that's the only thing you can touch go ahead and touch it and you get to pick your hoop size, four by four or five by seven. Because remember, these are designed, this is designed for the people that don't have my design center. So they can do some of the same things that others can do. That doesn't mean we can't use it too. So you here have your drawing tools and you can draw a running stitch or a zigzag stitch. And literally that's it. You just draw. You have 15 undos. 15, not 50, okay? As of now, you can also, like I said, do a um, zigzag stitch. So if you wanted a satin stitch, you could do that. You also have an eraser. I should have done this, which you can erase with. And remember I said, touch two fingers and make it bigger. So if you need to get into a little spot, you can do that very easily. And remember, I'm gonna undo here. So it undoes whatever you did for 15 times you have shapes and under shape <clears throat> excuse me there are two categories templates so look at how fun these things are that you can work with and you have shapes so again 
but they just didn't have the Superman shape. So I also have the ability up here to go into this icon, which is pictures. So those are not the pictures I want. <laughs> I want this one. And I'm going to say it shows, oops, selected two. I don't want to show two. I only want to show one. What did I select for? All right, let's see. Oh, deselect all. Okay, if you get something you don't want, you just, there we go. That's the one I wanted. So now I have this, but it isn't anything yet. I It's for me to trace over. I had a friend trying to help me talk about what I was going to do. And this is really for the artist, the people who can draw. You are going to just, it's going to blow your minds and you're going to have so much fun. And I will show you what I drew later, but I am not an artist and I cannot draw. So what you have to do here is say, yes, that's the picture I want to work with. And why did it go away? <laughs> All photos, no photos. Come on, come on, show selected. All right, that's the one I want. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> why does this always happen on camera? <laughs> Screenshots, is this gonna show for me? Done. Yes. Thank you. So I have to draw on this in order to turn it into a, an embroidery file. Remind, remind, yep. Remember I said embroidery file. You cannot make cutting files as of yet, but I got a workaround for that. So I'll show you what I did. So I'm supposed to draw on this, the shape that I need. And honestly, I don't want to use that. That's pretty bad. So I figured out how can I make this work? So here's how I figured it out. I can take a ruler and I can lay it on the program and I can draw. And that's going oh, to turn I never much. thought about that, Barb. Oh, yep. goodness. That's going to turn out way better for me because I'm terrible. And somebody said, well, just write something. It's like, no, you don't understand. My writing is horrible, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I got a loop there, so I'm going to undo those. Try this again. I caught my nail. OK, it didn't quite connect. But that's all right. Anyway, so those of you who are out there like me who are not artists and are terrible at this kind of thing, we can still make it happen. So I need to connect that. And then I'm going to erase a little bit. So I want to make this much bigger. Grab my eraser and you can get in here and just take a little bit out at a time. Look at that. Amazing. Oh, darn it. That is amazing. And I see some of you asking, is this on the Luminaire? No, this is on the app. She just has her tablet right next to the Luminaire. This is on the but, app, Artspira. Yeah, I am on a tablet right now. See how bad I made that? But I can make it better. I can make it okay. I'm going to call that okay. <laughs> and then one more over here. Good. All right. So I'm going to say, save this. And I'm going to, you have to name it. So you can either write the name, or, well, depending on what you're working on. I'm going to say Superman. It's not Superman, but. And okay. So now it is saving it in the app. Saved. Okay. So next. It says, share your designs on social media. So if that was a piece of art, I could share it to y'all, but it's not, so I'm not going to. But you can also see how it's going to stitch. So this is your um, ability to see what it's going to do. No big deal. Remember, I fixed this up later, so it came in at the end. It's fine. It works. So I'm done with this. I don't need anything else on there. Transfer. And it's going to go to my XP3 because that's it's a cutting file. So I'm going to come back to my machine, go into embroidery, 
find this design oop, under the cloud. Remember, I've already saved things in here. And there it is. So here is the size that I made it. Um, here's the picture that I took. When I went to clip art, I found Superman's shape and I researched it. Was there anything copyright, you know, attached to this? And there is not. It said just a geometric shape. There's no copyright. So I can use that. So here we go. I have my shape. Now it's an embroidery design. And what I showed you in the costume was a cutting design. It was HTV. So um, I got a workaround around this. So if you have this in your machines, you can do this. You can size it or you can put an outline around it, take it into your design center and work with it there. Or many of you have this patch icon or key. So if I make it a patch, then one of the things, and I make it zero distance, so I want it that size and say, okay, if I go into embroidery, you'll see that there's already a cutting file. So I, in this case, because I don't have this machine hooked up to my scan and cut, I have a different machine hooked up to my scan and cut. I just put it on a USB and took it to my scan and cut. So a lot of you can do this. Make sense? And that's how I did the cutting file for that C on the back of the uh, costume. So I made it two different shapes on my skin and cut. So I had two cut lines, one inside, one outside. I grabbed the C out of the scanning cut and sized it to fit perfectly and just cut it all out at once. Wow, that's gorgeous. So that's how that happened. Now. I have to get to a couple more things. Seriously, I'm I'm so excited for you. <laughs> I'm going to come in. I'm going to use my phone for a minute. And I'm going to show you some inspiration. So see this guy? The next costume piece I made was for this guy. He actually does sword fighting, competition sword fighting. And that's really armor that he has on. And it's the real thing. So I will show you that in a minute why I made this next sample. But before I do that, well, I guess I'll go here and show you. So I made him a cape and he had a crest. So I took a picture of his crest. Let me show you that. There's a picture of his crest. And I traced that just like I did the Superman thing. And that I turned into a cutting file. And all of these pieces all around the bottom of this cape were in the scan and cut cutting file. Whoop, why did you go there? And then this one, I did it as an embroidery file and I enlarged it and that's embroidery. That's stitched out. So, wow. A couple other things. I'm going to show you how I did that in a minute, but I want to show you some inspirations. So here we go. Imagine you can draw and you just drew things like this. You could draw, I could probably draw that or I could trace it. And, uh, you know, monster face or a pumpkin face or a ghost face, those are so simple and cut them out or embroider them. Here's a deck of cards if you wanted to go as friends with a deck of cards. It's just shapes. <laughs> and letters, right? How about you just bring up the letters on your skin cut and boo crew or whatever and add a couple of ghosts. Then um, scary cute. What if this was in grandma's handwriting? If you had handwriting not like mine and you stitch this out on a little piece for a cute little one, added the bats and the, and the pumpkins. There's more bats and pumpkins. This is where I got the inspiration for the Superman cape. And why not? It's very simple. Um, you could draw this face. You could do shapes, just shapes, and then draw the Pac-Man ideas or a Cookie Monster idea. Again, it's just circles and the shape of a mouth. Um, dominoes, just circles. Here's a halter top. Not that I can do this or Angela can do this in this weather, but... <laughs> Or any weather. <laughs> a couple of 
<laughs> well, I know you can do that, but yeah. Um, <laughs> a couple of cute eye shapes and they're different and mouth. I mean, oh my goodness, it's just so simple. Another Pac-Man idea. How about you just go with salt and pepper? You know, oh just white or all God. black. You got a recipe. Um, Mr. Potato Head ideas. Here's uh, these guys that just are bank robbers. All it is is an S with a line through it on a bag. And dress in all black. Put a black mask on. Whatever. So cute. This is Mother of Dragons. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, this guy's Twister. <laughs> little draw those little eyes, and you can cut those out with cardstock. Um, snowflakes built into your thing. So a little elf, scarecrow, Miss Universe. So they're just circles with planets, clouds. So this is just a bunch of clouds on a shirt. And then you have a headpiece that has a big cloud on it. And the whole title is Head in the Clouds. <laughs> How about a popsicle? All you do is add the letters. So she's Oh, a gosh, I love that. <laughs> and then this is called Fork in the Road. <laughs> Oh, it's so crazy. Sprinkles, eight ball. Oh my pump. gosh. So you could draw scarecrow pieces, I mean, uh, skeleton pieces, and you could do those. Just a plain, cute face, a ghost, shapes. Um, make these out of a netting that you could see through. <laughs> Embellish something like that with hearts. Make Olaf, you just wear white and black and a couple of dots. And a, a little headpiece with a nose. So there's that again, um, what I'm gonna show you now. So this is the embroidery piece that I did. Let's go back to drawing tools. You do choose your hoop size and I do need to bring in that photo if I can find it. Oop. I need albums. And where's my T? There's my T. Oh, I still have two selected. What did I do last time? This one, unselect that. Show selected. Okay. Is this going to say, yep, it's going to do this again. Pictures, there it is. So I brought it in and I had to um, go into the file then. So next, nope, I got the wrong one. Try this one. Next, nope. Nope. <laughs> All right, I thought I saved the one that I actually drew, but obviously I didn't. So I took this and you have a scale down here that you can make this lighter or darker so you can see what you're tracing, which I didn't show last time. So to save uh, time, I'm not gonna do this again because you know how bad I am at this. Oop, done, drawing tools. And I did want a, yeah. I would take the time to do, oh, if you go off of the page, it stops drawing. So that's something to know. So just pretend like I did this. I've already sent it to my machine, my machine and you know how to do that already. So I'm going to say next, and I'm going to say don't save. <laughs> There's what I just drew. I'm not going to, I'm going to go to the machine and show you what it turned out like and it's not going to be in my cloud now because i didn't send this remember what only thing in my cloud is what i sent last time so i think that's the one so it goes automatically into a um stitch out design now i took this into my design center and i filled the center and i made it silver and i made the outside um black and I stitched it, that's it. So I don't know if this will work. Let me try. Oh, I'm like watching Barb as I'm sewing. Where did you go, Barb? <laughs> she just disappeared. Okay, so by the way, I'm reading all your comments. <laughs> yes. I know. Well, cat's out of the bag. I'm sewing along with her. I know. Super cute ideas. Okay. A couple of questions about our Spira app while we wait for her to come back. I know. Well, we can always bring up the squirrel if we have to, but <laughs> hopefully she comes back. So a couple of questions on the Art Spira app, by the way, and I saw some of you asking, what pen was she using? Yes. 
that I believe, and I will ask her when she comes back, but I believe she was using the uh, I, the one that comes with the XP3. But here, she's back. Hey. I'm back. So I was using actually the... We lost your sound, though. No sound. Let's try this. Let's check that again. You got to love live shows because if something's going to go wrong... And so, Barb, cat's totally out of the bag. I've been sitting here, like, pinning as I'm talking to you. I'm so intrigued and then you disappeared you still don't have your sound so just double check if you have to reboot feel free yeah because there were a few questions for you on like the card stock and stuff like that okay uh, do i have it back hi marcia i saw a couple charts on uh chats on there i got rid of them the mo the best that i could have <laughs> arnell needs more grandkids can you all hear, Barb, let me see if I can make your mic a little bit louder. I was gonna say, I lost my main mic connection and I don't know why. So me, can you hear me or not? We can just barely hear you. Yeah, Delia, it's free. It's totally free. Absolutely free. Okay, we can hear you. Yay, okay. all right, take it back. All right, so I was using the pen that came with my tablet. Oh, okay. But you, let me try. Yeah, I can use the pen that came with my XP. You can use any of those types of, you know, stylus that you have. Or your finger. <laughs> or your finger. Go ahead. We all have, we have a few of those. What other questions do we have? So, Barb, there were a few other questions on what kind of, and let me just come back to you here. Yeah, we. They can hear you now. I turned your mic up. They wanted to know what kind of paper you were using for those uh, masks. And someone said, is there a certain weight that they have to stay under or anything specific about the paper to get it to go through? Three millimeters can't be wider than that. You're not going to find cardstock thicker than that. So <laughs> I doubt I, it. Yeah, I didn't really go for the weight. I went for the look. So Perfect. I, I just found cardstock black and orange for the first one. And then I found the fancy cardstock for the cat one to go with the shirt. Nothing special. Perfect. Uh, there were a few other ones. Uh, someone asked, uh, oh, someone has a Luminaire. And they said they could not get the Art Spirit app to connect with that. But it does. Oh, it does. So make sure that whatever Art Spira you have, whatever... Um, tablet or phone that you have it on is on the same wireless network. If it's not, it's not going to get over there. That I think right there without even thinking about it is one of the best tips because when I first started working on the Art Spear app, I had it connected to the Stellaire or trying, I was playing around with the Stellaire and then I was like trying to play with the Luminaire, but neither my phone and my tablet are on different wireless networks i've got one and also for those of you that have a wireless network sometimes you have something plugged in that's like an extension of that one and i had mine on different things and they won't talk to each other so that's i'll bet you that's it yeah for the, the person that was looking for that several different machines what is going on okay you can hook up machines uh sewing machines but i've only been able to hook up one scan and cut so far one yeah. I agree. I was able to put it on, so one machine, one scan and cut, one sewing machine, but I was able to put it on uh, my phone and my tablet. And that a lot of people are asking about that too. Yes. So Brother Social posted a couple links. So if you scroll back up, even if you're watching the replay, click on one of those links and it will walk you through downloading the app. It's super easy and it's free. Somebody was asking, are all those designs free? Wowzer. Yes. Free. And you get new projects every week. Yes, you can put multiple uh, Arts Bureau on as much as you want. You just want to make sure you have the same um, login and it's the same program. Otherwise, you could have two different ones. And right. then you're looking for something and it's not in this one, but it's in that one. So make sure you log in with the same username and password. Perfect. And uh, yes, you do have to make sure that your Luminaire is up, updated. Updated. Yes. Luminaire and what? Somebody's mentioning something. Your Luminaire needs to be 
updated to a two and a three. I don't know anything about that. I thought I just have to have a wireless machine. Right, and wireless didn't come into Luminaire until um, the upgrade, second upgrade. Oh. Duh, okay. <laughs> it's been a while, the Luminaire one's been a while. So yes, you have to have that technology. <laughs> I know, I know, can't beat free. So someone said you have been so busy they cannot believe all these costumes. I was cracking up about that. <laughs> yeah, but fun. I mean, and easy, easy and fast. You know, this whole idea was to take something that already exists and embellish it. Now, I did yeah. make tapes from scratch, but what did that take? Nothing, you know. Absolutely. Hey, Jan, uh, you can still do an update on your machines with the USB if your Wi Fi is slow. Yes. Just download it and bring it over. Yes. Uh, Shirley had asked this a couple times. Uh, the Artspira app is asking for an Artspira ID. You just sign up for one, don't you? You just create your yeah. own? Create an account, yep. Yeah. Uh, somebody's asking, a lot of you are asking about your machines. You have to go just check because there's a lot. Brother has a lot of machines. First of all, your machine has to have Wi-Fi. If your machine does not have Wi-Fi, then no. No, but you can get an app and you can play and be designing. If you're an artist, that's the one thing I didn't show you. So here's the last thing. I am not an artist. I cannot draw to save my life. But I found this picture, which I thought was pretty. And I snapped it and then I sent it to the machine. And then I actually did um, sketch over this. And as poor as I am at that, here's how it turned out. Oh my goodness. Seriously, so, and I am so bad at that. So you could do your own pillows on your bed or your couch or whatever artwork you wanted. If you, and you can draw right on it. You don't have to trace something like I have to. So. Well, so you just trace that. That's it, just like you were showing. Yes. So wow. if you have somebody who's an artist in your family, you can do their artwork right on wow, it. And I have a few of those, not myself, but I have a few others. <laughs> yeah, definitely not me, but my grandkids, yes. <laughs> Here's what, yeah, that's what I was thinking. My nephews and my nieces are all very artistic. Can you use Art Spira on the Brother 10 Needle with wireless? Yes, the 1055. There you go. Yep. As long as you got wireless, yep. just remember that. I'm just scrolling through here. Also, by the way, I am bringing up here um, for Brother Sews, their website is brothersews.com. And when you're working on these on this app, you want to make sure that you share hashtag Brother Sews and hashtag Brother Scan and Cut. They love to see what you're working on. The Art Sphere, this is a new app. They will love to see what you're doing. And you never know, you might be featured on their page, which would be super cool as well. So I see somebody was asking the name of it because it's a little strange. So it's Art Spira, A-R-T-S-P-I-R-A, and it's supposed to be Art Inspiration put together. Condensed. Yeah, I love it. Uh, I think that was most of the questions. Someone asked, was there anything special um, that when you were using that cardstock, what blade you used, or are you just using a general blade, the, the I just universal? Used basic blade, basic black. There you go. Perfect. I mean, your choices are your basic blade, your vinyl blade, your rotary blade, or your fabric blade. So think about that. Vinyl blade is for vinyl. Rotary blade is for those difficult fabric things mostly. Okay, like wool and chiffon and stuff like that. Uh, fabric blade is for fabric. And so other things like cardstock, basic blade. Perfect. Perfect. All right, everyone. Even if you're watching the replay, if you have questions, post them down below. Brother Social Team will answer that. And in the meantime, mark your calendar for those who, by the way, I'd love to see in the comments who's coming to Houston Quilt Fest because it's going to be a lot of fun. All Brands is bringing in a lot of brother educators, ambassadors. We're going to be on stage. I think, Barb, you're going to actually be showing on the XP3 edge, edge, to, edge. To, edge to edge. Is that correct? Yep. That's going to be exciting. So there's so many things on there. I think you and I are the ones teaching on that. And how do you narrow it to a half an hour for any topic? That's all I want to know. 
I know. And for people who are going to be there more than one sitting, you can come back and maybe, you know, we can have you ask different questions so we can cover a little bit um, more on the subject. Right. And it's also, hard. I think one of the best parts, and Barb, you and I have been doing the show for so long, you longer than I have, but I absolutely love it. Number one, you get to see everyone in person, but two, you get to play on the machines. And that's where even us as ambassadors, we learn from the educators, which would be you. <laughs> and we learn more and even see more and you're playing around and you kind of light bulbs go on and go, I never thought about that. I didn't know it did this. Or maybe something that you don't use at all, all of a sudden you find a use for. So if you're there, be sure to stop by, say hi to us. Uh, there is going to be a Wolfpack meet and greet at 1130. So come and take pictures with Barb and I. This would be super fun. And also there's demos all day on every machine. So uh, the show starts when next Wednesday and it runs through Sunday. And uh, my experience uh, over the last, I don't know how many years I've been going, at least 10, I think, um, the best prices and the best packages and the best deals happen at Houston Quilt Festival. Absolutely. And you know what else is going to be there? I think maybe somebody doesn't know about this. The new serger is going to be there. And that's, I'm so excited for that. So that's going to be there. The airflow, you guys can't miss that. So anyways, come say hi, play around. If you're looking to upgrade your machine to a wireless, it's a great place to do that. And they have every level of machine too, from, you know, the Luminaire, although we talk about it all the time, isn't the only machine brother has, they have some others too. And I know I just talked to Barbara a few days ago and she has some extra surprises she's not revealing till Wednesday. So stay tuned. If you're live, awesome. If you're not, join live. And Barb, this was a great tutorial. I have to get busy because I have a lot of nieces and nephews that need costumes. And this is a great way to jazz up, even if I bought them. <laughs> yes, that's the whole idea. And you, but, but you still create it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I have to hide that cape, though, if I show them the video to pick what they want. That cape might take a little bit too long for me before between now and Monday. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, you just cut out the cape shape, and all you have to do is, if you align it, and I line both of them, you just sew it around and finish the neck, and you're done. That's so oh, easy. That's not, that's not <laughs> too bad, then. <laughs> all right, well, have a great weekend. I will see you Wednesday, Barb, and all of you. I can't wait to see you on Wednesday as well, live or live, live in person or live on screen. So, all right, Bar brother, thanks for letting us take over your page. And uh, sorry that our little, um, so in the middle of your show, by the way, I had to go feed Maxine and you can see they've made a mess of the nuts, but no, uh, she decided to be shy today. But I like that there's a squirrel on the Art Spirit app. It's gonna be the first thing I download. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks see for you joining later, Barb. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.